Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn connect to the MySQL Python Fast API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically, how you can connect to the MySQL? Let's have a look with the Fast API. So here you can see that. So first of all, you have to install this AI MySQL. So here we go with this one. So module not found. So we have to install this. So install install e i o my sql okay so just install this and let's run the server again so this is done copy already done this this is removed okay and here you need to set the credentials with the e i my sql so localhost here i think the root is there and the password is like this i need to go with the database name so let's go and check the localhost php my admin it is there or not i don't remember php my admin if it is there not there so let's go with the php slash the minor if it is there okay so root and let's log in with this one we will use any kind of the databases to connect and check so my db1 that is db this db you have the users and the select data name and the email so let's use the name and the email part so here we have the name and the email okay so we have defined we have set the pyrenetic model for the item right so here we required the insert into users with name and the email okay so we will check that the if it is record is inserted that the data database is connected right let's save this okay so here you can see that the get db we have defined dependency for getting the database connection and when trying to post the request so here you can see that we are now using the dependencies okay dependency injection if you don't know just watch my previous video how we can use the dependency injection so you have to use depends to get the dependency injection so here we have a get db so I think with the DP cursor as this cursor execute this command and uh, so in the item underscore ID we are returning the last row ID and then commit and returning the records okay so let's save this and go to the fast API and let's here let's go to the users the last record is 11th let's try to add this record okay try it out right so name is uh, AA email is aa at the rate gmail.com okay let's try to execute this execute and what's happening internal server error pi mysql error operational unknown database touch account oops database haven't been updated so test db is there right so let's update it so db should be test db okay save this let's go and just hit this again execute this and now you can see internal server error again what happened item object has no attribute okay username so basically the not the username it should be name okay so paste it like this save this now hit this again execute and here we go that it is response body is executed and in the data is inserted that means the mysql connectivity is done so this is how you can connect to the mysql fast api python any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day